Hey YouTube, uh, my name is Andrew and I'm just going to make a quick tutorial on how to encode an X264. For those of you who already know how to do this, uh, you probably won't learn any new tricks, but um, I just wanted to do this real quick for, for people out there who, who just want to get started. Um, okay, so you'll need, uh, first off, you need some footage. Um, I just chose some gameplay footage from uh, Command & Conquer 3 which you can edit in Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere or whatever. Um, you'll uh, also need to grab a program called Nigui which you can find um, here at x264.nl um, you just scroll down uh, and it's right here um, you'll also need to download a program called AVI Synth um, in order to install MIGUI. Uh, you can go to the wiki here and then um, there's a download link right there. Just click that. It'll take you to SourceForge and you can download uh, the latest version. Um, and then after that, uh, you uh, once you've installed AVI Synth and MIGUI, you can go to this website, uh, Doom 9's forums, and um, download these profiles that you can use with MIGUI. You just click it here, and you actually go back to this uh, a page on uh, x264.nl, and you can download um, these generic profiles. Uh, also, MIGUI uh, has an auto-update function. Um, you can just update the profiles through that as well. Um, I won't get into that. But after you've installed all that um, and you have your footage uh, ready to go, you have it edited and ready to go, go to, uh, I'm going to use Sony Vegas, go to render as and um, choose uh, a .avi file here. Now, I use Huffy because it's a it's a near lossless render. Um, it does it pretty quickly too. The file sizes are fairly large, so be prepared. Um, this is a profile I have already created with the Ruffy codec. Um, for the video, I've chosen the frame rate of 30 frames per second, um, uh, and then the Huffy codec, and then. Uh, I didn't include the audio because MIGUI doesn't will not will not look at the audio stream when it's when it's rendering the video, obviously. So once I've rendered that, let's just pretend like I click save. Um, you'll want to render the audio dot wave file and you use the default template if you want, or you can choose from a variety of different presets that uh, were already created with you or for you in Sony Vegas. Um, okay, so let's say that you fully rendered it and you get something that looks like this. It's a fairly large video clip. You're not going to be able to put that online. It's just too big. I mean, this is a 31 second video and it's already 1.5 gigabytes. That's ridiculous. So what you're going to do instead is you're going to use MIGUI. And what you're going to do first is um, you're going to look for your video well, first off, actually, you're going to create an AVS script. My apologies. You can use the AVS script uh, creator that comes with MIGUI, or you can create it yourself in a text editor. It's fairly simple. Um, you search for your video, and it will come up with a preview, which is kind of nifty. I find it really annoying. Um, you can change the aspect ratio. Uh, and you can choose to crop it or resize it. Usually I render things from Sony Vegas in the resolution that I want to, so there's really no need. Um, or And then you can actually touch the code or the script itself through this editor. Um, now, just a quick note on this line here, AVI source. Um, some people are a little confused about AVI source and direct show source. Um, I read the wiki that was that's about uh, AVI synth and 
Um, they advise I use AVI source first on AVI files, obviously, and anything else that AVI source can read. Um, they advise you use direct show source if that doesn't work um, on files that are like direct show only codecs, as it is said here. In any case, you can have fun with that in your own spare time. Click save, um, and it comes with yet another annoying preview. And then um, you can select the profile of your of your render. Um, I choose. I usually choose uh, X264 unrestricted two pass insane. There's one that's kind of similar. It's the DXVA. SD insane uh, or HD insane. Never used it. Um, I don't really want to. I don't have that much footage to render, just laying around. And you can configure these profiles to anything you want. I would advise that you just leave it alone because, well, personally, I don't know what any of this means. Um, the only thing I do edit is the bitrate. Um, I found that for gameplay or gameplay footage on my computer usually requires around 3,000 bits to about 5,000 bits for it to look fairly good otherwise it gets really blocky and just terribly looking um, that depends on the resolution of your principal footage though so I would advise you kind of play around with that if you need uh, an increase in quality immediately I would suggest that you increase the bitrate be careful though um, if your footage turns out to be too large, you know, if you just end up with a 700 gig or 700 megabyte file, um, it becomes kind of moot, doesn't it? Um, in any case, uh, let's just say you want to render it at 3000 bits per second. Click OK, and it's going to ask you that, you know, your profile has been changed, would you like to save it? I'm going to select no, because I don't want to modify that profile and here make sure you choose raw AVC. Now we're going to find that .wav file that you rendered uh, a few moments ago and you're going to look for something called FAAC scratchpad or FAAC something. I actually saved the scratchpad as something called default and if you can't find it on um, SOL I guess. Um, you could pretty much leave all this the way it is, um, or you can edit it. it. It's your it's your video. It's your audio. I don't care. Um, I would recommend that you leave it, and then after you're done modifying that, uh, you can go to the extension drop down menu and click raw AAC, and then you can enqueue that, and then enqueue your video. Ah yes, another note. Um, in the script it will add a line called convert to YV12 automatically and that's fine because that's what we want and then you can click start and it will start all of these tasks now I'm going to clear them because I don't want it to actually render while I'm recording now let's just say that you've actually rendered all this out and you're ready to go what you're going to find is a file that looks like this something your file name dot 264 and an audio file called something dot AAC now you need to multiplex those together so that you actually have a file to distribute so you'll go to tools go to mugzer and you'll go to mp4 mugzer you'll find your dot 264 file and add it your audio file and add it and this is important make sure that your FPS is is equal to the FPS that of your principal footage otherwise um, you're gonna have some weird you know audio video action going on there you're gonna enqueue that and then you're gonna start it um, oh and a side note um, the Huffy, the Huffy codec is, um, you can find that here uh, for Sony Vegas if you want to use Huffy. Um, and that's about it.